So which one of y'all want to go get the pee out of visitation? Nose goes. Nose goes. Tell them to cut the water off. What is the sale? Hang on a second. I might need you to move. You don't cut the water off already? All right. All right, you go deal with I'll deal with the piss. How about that? Let's go. The conditions in Cock County Jail are horrible. I mean, horrible. It don't get no worse. It's the worst jail in Tennessee, and it's probably one of the worst in America. Here at Cock County Jail, everything's falling apart. When the water overflows, it comes straight out the door. It was stopped up before I came and came over here. Um, I came over from the annex and I was like, oh, the toilet's messed up and they can't fix it or anything. So, you know, you had to work with what you had. <laughs> There's black mold black everywhere. Mold. For the inmates, there's not enough room. They don't have enough stuff. got a 20 person cell and there would be 40 people in there. You're stepping over them to get your lunch tray. If you do time, it's a place to get three free meals a day. But other than that, the condition of the Cock County Jail is, it's, it's not good. This is the inmates' favorite day of the week. They get conversation. Usually it's like mostly ramen noodles, pretzels, popcorn. You can get cards, towels. It's your household items that we get every day, but the inmates get to buy them. And they do a lot with it. Uh, angel back. Angel back. Maud Lefford. Maud Lefford. Popkin, Melissa Popkin. It's a little hectic on commissary night. This is like Christmas Day, I guess. No. Okay. No. Here, I'll read it. Hot and spicy ramen. Hot and spicy ramen. Got it. Blow me your plugs. We're doing inventory right now. Chicken breast. You got two of those. Yeah, twelve dollars worth of it. Beans and beans and okay, got it. And then all sorts. Yeah, okay. We got it. We're gonna cook. <laughs> Which noodles do I need, Ashley? Okay. Is she in the shower yelling at you on how to cook? Yeah, she's telling me how to cook these because she needed to take a shower. So, um, these noodles, I gotta crunch them up. We don't cook them like normal ramen. When she gets out of the shower, she's gonna make this um, orange chicken, that's what it's called. Yeah. Okay. I need the work rinds. I don't have a coffee stick, I got All right, cook. We need you to finish cooking for us. <laughs> Our lovely facilities here. The water don't get really hot in these days, and our water only stays long for a couple seconds at a time. Our toilet don't work, it floods. <laughs> this is how we get water. Oh. <laughs> this is where we rinse out our, our 
No, our dish is that too, by the way. <laughs> what is that? It's an old shampoo bottle? Yeah, this is our shower faucet, basically. This is handmade. We've done this ourselves as inmates. Because if not, you see how our water comes out? Yeah. So we put the bottle on there and gather it up all at once, and it comes out in a stream, so it's better than that. But you can see where we live. This is mold and more mold. Rust. These are trash bags we've used, and we've rigged it to where we got a shower curtain. These are our old mats that we cut up so we can have privacy. Because this cell was originally built for men. You know what I mean? This wasn't built for females. Now we're going to drain the noodles. Oh, that's where everybody freaking, that's disgusting. <laughs> this is hot and spicy pork rinds, and this is a strawberry lemonade drink pack and a coffee stick. And I'm gonna put them in here, I'm gonna add some water, and this is already crunched up a little bit, and this is what'll give the orange flavor to the chicken, and these pieces are gonna taste like chicken in your mouth. There will be no chicken in this, no it chicken. tastes like chicken. Yeah, have you ever ate orange chicken in a Chinese restaurant? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's gonna taste like that. Okay. How many years did it take you to perfect this method? I've been coming to jail for a while now, but I only did a 60-day stay and learned this in like 10 minutes. They take uh, pop tarts, and we make cakes too. Okay. All right. She wins this argument because it really does taste like orange chicken with egg noodles. My mission is done. Really does. Mm. Better than anything, especially without a, a stove, a microwave, or really hot water, because that was made with lukewarm hot water. <laughs> what do you think? It's great. Does it Thanks. taste like chicken? Yes, absolutely. You, she would lie anyway. You, if, you close, if you close your eyes, do you feel like you're in a Chinese restaurant? No, <laughs> not at all. Never <laughs> would. No. It's jail. This is this is jail. <laughs> if we're on the streets, that's just a vacation. We come right back usually. <laughs> this is home. Like this is home. So when we show up on the day to see Maud cooking her food, right? You start to see the conditions of the Cock County Jail. These are people that are being taken care of by the state of Tennessee, by the county of Cock County, and these are the conditions. Oh, okay, hold on a minute. Must be the cop's fault, is it? Who gave me access to this jail? Did we forget about that? It was the sheriff. He wanted us to show the conditions of this jail. Sheriff Armando, who at the time was the sheriff of Cock County. He was frustrated that he was unable to get proper funding for his community. He was unable to get proper funding for his law enforcement, and proper funding for rehabilitation or anybody in his community. After you guys watch my journalism story, let's rush in and shut down the jail. This sounds so terrible. You shut down the jail. What about the people that work in the jail, who live in the community? who have to serve the community. Boom, their jobs are gone. Oh, yeah, but we fixed the problem. No. What about the subsidies that come into the community to help pay for law enforcement, all that stuff? Boom, it gets taken from them. You shut down that jail, you kill that community. You shut down that jail, you create a problem. You shut down that jail, families can't come and visit because they can't afford to drive to the other county that they get shipped to. So let's not rush in and blast this up jail. Let's watch this shit and go, let's go help everybody because they're all in the same cycle. They're all in the same community. We want to make changes in America. We have to look at it from a 360 degree perspective. Tit for tat. Nothing happens without there being blowback somewhere else. And every decision in fixing America, we need to consider a plan that helps the community, the people who work in the jails, the cops, the prisoners, the families. Let's make it work for everybody. And then let's do that in every community. When I was visiting there, the payment for a correctional officer at the Cock County Jail was like 
$12.60 or $13.60 an hour. Imagine that. Your job is to manage the jail, protect life and limb, all for between like $12.60 and $13.60 to $13.60 an hour. Are you crazy? A deputy, a sheriff's deputy made something like $26,000 or $28,000 a year. Risk your life. Arrest a potential family member for $26,000, $28,000 a year. Now, subsequently, since I was there filming, I do know that the new sheriff, CJ Ball, went to bat and got people raises. Big deal for the sheriff, CJ Ball, to do that. He's the newly elected sheriff. But the point is, he can only get what he can get. I believe now, for the people working in the Cock County Jail, the correctional officers, I believe the starting pay is about $16 an hour. And I believe that to be a deputy, you're now getting paid over $30,000 a year. But I want you to put that in perspective. After taxes, how much money do you end up making a month? How do you survive? How does that community grow, thrive? This Cock County story is a great symbol for the issues in America, for the systems that are broken, for the civilians that have been ignored. This is a systemic problem across America. And we don't need to solve one problem, we need to solve bigger problems.